Hello and welcome back to Pocket Puppy School. We are on our third week of training Thunder Buddies and this week I'm going to set up some fireworks next to my dog. But before you call me reckless, let's have a quick overview on how we've been training so far so that my dog wouldn't be afraid of fireworks. During the first week we started off by playing a sound. I opened the video on my phone, played the sound and if my dog held my hand I praised. Then, during the second week, we continued with sight. I played a video on the TV. If my dog held my hand, I praised. But this week, things are gonna get a bit smelly. Do you smell it? That smell. A kind of smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells. Smelly. Yes, so this week we're trying to replicate the smell of fireworks. We're trying to get the smell of burning sulfur. And there's two ways we can do that. One is by using rotten eggs. And second is using actual fireworks. And we're going to do the second one because no one really likes the smell of rotten eggs. Instead, we're going to use fireworks. But we're not going to do the exploding kind. We've got some sparklers. Now the great part about sparklers is that even though they burn and they give the smell of sulfur, they're not going to explode and create a scary moment. So that's why we can use them this week to train our dogs to be not afraid of the smell of fireworks. If you've seen our previous videos, then you already know what we're going to do. I'm going to light this, I'm going to ask for thunder buddies, and if my dog gives me her paw, then I'm going to praise. The important part is that my dog actually experience something related with fireworks and then decides to give me her paw. And simple as that. The point of this is that when my dog actually experiences fireworks, she already knows that if she smells the sulfur, then she can simply give me her paw and she'll get something good. So let's try this. We've never tried this before, so let's see what happens. So it's important that your dog doesn't actually get into the line of fire. There we go. That's burning. Yeah, smell. Thunder buddies. Yes, good thunder buddies. Good thunder buddies. Good thunder buddies. Thunder buddies. Thunder buddies, yes, good thunder buddies. That's good. So even though this is scary, we're just practicing that it doesn't really matter. Thunder buddies, yes, good thunder buddies. Good. Good thunder buddies. And it's burned out, so let's see. You wanna smell? It smells really bad. <laughs> and when we're done, we can simply take this and place it on a tray so that nothing burns down. That's a good thunder buddy. -ish. Now, we practiced with this and we can combine it with our previous week's practice sessions. We can use our TV and we can combine it with the sparklers to give the full effect of fireworks. We have the sound, we have the sight, and we have the smell. So now we can actually simulate the whole experience of fireworks. And then we just have to make sure that our dog feels good. Let's give it a shot, shall we? So, sound and sight. There's a video playing. Let's do the smell. So now everything is going, as you can see, she's very interested. Thunder Buddies, yes, good Thunder Buddies, good Thunder Buddies, there's a treat, yes, good Thunder Buddies, Thunder Buddies, yes, good Thunder Buddies, I'm gonna give it to you like that. So there's a lot going on right now, but what we're trying to do is simply 
try and make it into just thunder bodies. We're trying to get our focus and focus only on our hand. So even though there, there's sound, there's sights, there's smell, there's sparkles, there's everything going around. The only thing that matters is thunder bodies. Yes, good thunder bodies. Good thunder bodies. Good thunder bodies. And that's it for today, because we just had a great session. My dog didn't get scared at all, and we don't have to do anything else today. And we're going to practice it until New Year's, because on New Year's, it's the real deal. That's it for this week, so come back next week, when it's our final video, where we're actually going to try and see how we're going to fare against real fireworks. <laughs>